Happy New Year's, everybody. Brandon Abandoned, 6'4", it's four and third bag stickman. It's New Year's, we gotta pop a video out, right? This is a very cool spot, an absolutely gorgeous farmhouse, like amazing. It's, it's kind of in rough shape because it's been abandoned for quite a while. The family actually just sold the whole property because it's a giant property. It's in a beautiful area. They sold it a long time ago. It, it always confuses me why it sits for so long. That I can't answer for you, but there's some cool stuff left behind. Just the way this place looks, I'm under a skylight right now. One of the most beautiful farmhouses I've ever seen. You guys are gonna love it. Let's jump right in here and let's get exploring. You guys are used to the walk up, but it's a little bit rainy today. So I thought I would try something different. We drive slow, so it's like we're walking. Have to check out the property, we got a big old barn. There's a beautiful house right there. We made it. We're up on the back porch here. It's raining, so we're tucked out of the rain. I normally don't mind doing the exploring and, you know, walking around in the rain for the video, but this one is it's a little bit more rain than the camera gear wants to handle, I'd say. But look at this long, beautiful porch. A nice curved rail. That's amazing. This is one gorgeous farmhouse. Here we got the doghouse. Still the nice cushion in there. No toys. Now we'll keep going. Do a little walk around the whole house here before we go in. Beautiful brick. Huge porch. A big old barn. I'm not sure what's in there. It's really cool too. Check out the little like bell tower type thing hanging out. Now there's no bell in it, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's what that's for. No reason for us to not do the walk together. And at some point, this was plasticed off. I'm not sure what for. Probably happened after it went abandoned, I'd say. Trying to save it a little bit. I like the curves that they've got in there. Add in some more detail. Beautiful old door. It almost looks like there's a light on, but it's it's a skylight. Now it smells really bad, really bad of skunk. So I'm hoping I'm not gonna get sprayed. A piece of glass fell off the door. I just wanted to show you what it looked like with the light. Just the skylight. 
but we'll get we'll get our light going. That's a beautiful wheel. Beautiful kitchen. Just the woodwork. Oh, and that would have been awesome. I didn't even realize, but that's a big window. So you'd have had a lot of natural light in here. That's awesome. And some of the floor is missing. So I'll try to do the best I can to keep, oh, come on. <laughs> and then right away, I point the camera up to the roof. Sorry about that. We've got a little bit of a mess here. Picture of I guess the the son that lived here. Oh, rest in peace. That's sad. I wonder if those are for the. No, it's got it's got old ages. So yeah, I guess maybe those are just his famous hockey players or his favorite hockey players. I'm not sure which way to go. Let's go this way first. Still got the cookie jar. No cookies. It's always a sad sight when the cookie jar doesn't have no cookies. Very nice. Tall ceilings. Old flower wallpaper. Fuji. I don't know what type of water that is. Sparkling, I'm sure. So there's the basement. So we found the basement. That's good to know. But I guess that means we chose the wrong way. Because we do the basement last. Real tall windows. Paint peeling beautifully, lying all over the floor. It's a snazzy color. The old light. a little small room perhaps an office beautiful door handle though look at the size of that it's a huge locking mechanism Real nice light. I'm really doubting if there's any light in any power in this house. Again, sorry I don't know too much of the story about this house. It's just it was bought up for more condos and more development. You could tell the family got out of here with plenty of time. They didn't leave all their stuff. But just the beautiful architecture, the woodwork, the style and the age of this house, we definitely had to check it out. A little makeshift piece of drywall up there. Yeah, we gotta watch out while we're upstairs maybe. It's a beautiful cabinet. Again, you can tell a lot of age to everything in here.
we'll do a peek for you, but yeah. Again, these people, they got out of here with plenty of time. They took all their, all their loved belongings. That is one amazing bookshelf. This girl goes all the way up to the ceiling too. They didn't stop short. I was just curious what that side of the door looked like. Just wanted to see the age of it. Now there's upstairs, a couple broken stairs. Well, actually, a lot of broken stairs. So you know what we gotta do? We gotta think light as we're going up there. We've almost missed the bathroom. With a big old tub. Nicely tiled in. It's a huge window. Hang out in the bath and let's have the sun coming in. Or you're seeing the stars because you're having a bath at night. A big fancy sink though, eh? Hmm. The people, I'm sure they definitely had money. Everything in here has got great detail to it. Again, real old. I guess maybe they didn't have the keys for those, so they were just using these little ones. But even that one itself looks kind of old. It's just ugly with those screws in it. There's your stairs in case you had... Need a little hand getting into the tub. Some old pillows. Awesome. Well, good thing we went down there. Again, you see that a lot, eh? The beautiful carved pieces of wood on the side of the stairs. Amazing. Beautiful. That was the little office room. Here we're back to this beautiful kitchen. And it's awesome how there was that door there to get out. And then you'd be able to use this door as well. I guess this is going to be the smaller side of the house. I thought it was going to be opposite, but... Nope, I was wrong. quite a big room. My light's not lighting up the whole thing. Let's turn and get a peek at this. The way that the drywall's broken out around the bottom, I wonder if somebody's trying to steal it. Maybe they're trying to save it. It's a serious metal. Metal around the outside. Maybe that's what made them give up. You'd have to take this piece off because there's something that's holding this steel into this piece of wood. Turned out to be too much work. You'd have to do too much restoration. Would add a nice little bar there maybe? I guess. What type of machine is this? It's got the pressure, but I don't think it's for air. Hmm. Now, there must have been squatters going on because there's lots of paper plates. Paper plates and fast food. Fast food bags. What a beautiful room though. So I guess inside those were probably bigger wheels would be my best guess. Hollowed out that little spot for the the thick knuckle. And look at this. Take a peek and see what's inside. This is what it kept all their wood here. Was there a fireplace that I I didn't totally notice right away?
And like you can tell this is old, but like the wood itself is old, but the screws are new. Like somebody tried to fix it up, just not very well. We got a date on here. Maybe, but I don't know where to find it on on these flyers. Even the Walmart, where would the date be? No. Twenty eighteen. There we go. Hopefully that didn't take too long. And these lights on here. I guess those were, were the actual lights. And they got these ones here. But like the ceiling, beautiful. With all these wood beams and just the way it all looks, the, the angles. But the lights that they put on are very, very ugly to me. If I'm just not seeing what their idea was, I apologize for calling it ugly. But that's a very strange, strange way to do your lights. Big, huge, beautiful back doors. And a second set of doors. Too bad this place is boarded up. The paper said 2018, but they could have been squatters bringing those in as well. This place has definitely been abandoned for more than five years, I'd say. After so long, I'm starting to get a wee bit of a, an eye for how long things have been left dormant. That's beautiful. That's the door we came in through the way. Cool metal heating. Panels on the wall. Oh, big bathroom. Could hear the rain dripping, I wasn't sure. It sounded like more than just dripping rain. And see how they used the natural wood too? on the walls. That's awesome. At least somebody was keeping clean. See, it looks kind of bad. That looks like more than five years. This wood is beautiful though. You could take all the wood out of this house and save it. Not only could you, but it should be. Oh, that's the wrong way. But for some weird reason, I feel like walking through this house just feels very smooth, very comfortable. It's got a very relaxing feel where sometimes you're in houses and it feels a little uneasy. You're, maybe you're always looking over your shoulder. Not here. This house has a very welcoming feel. Again, I think that's because nothing bad happened here. The people moved out happily. There was no deaths. There was just money exchanged and a new life off in another spot that maybe they weren't able to afford before. I 
and look at that. I didn't even notice these doors. You'd wake up in your bedroom and be able to walk out these huge doors to your beautiful forest property. A little bit of garbage. That looks like maybe a, a divider. And these, I'm guessing, were probably squatters close. I really don't think these were the families. The plates. Maybe the plates were. Hmm. Hmm. Very, very cool. amazing house and again just so comforting and so smooth the house flows perfect it's not a maze you can hear something squawking hopefully I didn't bug bug anybody by coming in here but they'll be happy shortly because I'm not going to be here for too much longer. I don't imagine the upstairs and the basement are going to be too big. But let's check it out. I just wanted to kind of point something out, maybe ask a question. But what I'm guessing happened here with these holes, a lot of times when people don't have basements, they just have these crawl spaces. They'll hide things down there. So that could either have been, what do you think? Maybe the the owners of the house knew where they had their stuff stashed, came, took it out. Or was this scavengers that came around here and just started cutting chunks of the floor open and looking under to see what could be left. Could be for the pipes also. So... I just wanted to point that out, just kind of throw that idea around. So let's try to get up here as safe as possible. This is some serious wood. So the ones that are together are gonna to be very tough. So there must've been something heavy up here that somebody dragged down these, down these stairs. There's definitely something up here they wanted to keep. And as they drug it, dragged it down, it just boop, 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 crack, crack, break, break. I've seen that happen many a times with big freezers going down into basements. Bless you. See what I mean? Thank you, Lord. Told you, there's a good feeling in this house. No uneasy feeling. None of that. Just a welcome. Big door. Beautiful. Could have been another cabinet like that. Maybe they got both of them out to here. One went down, one did it. There's even marks of something scratched along the ground. That's nice. It's actually really nice. Beautiful. Seems quite old too. Good craftsmanship. This one very nice unit. So definitely something like that got taken down the stairs and it broke the stairs.
branch cutters. Hopefully we don't see any fingers on the floor. But a very 70s pull-out couch. With that color. Oh Canada. We're gonna leave you looking nice. We're just gonna move you to the couch. Instead of covering this box of just insulation. Mm -hmm. I almost thought that was like a camouflage sheet, but no, it's just a insulation. It's an interesting unit. It's like the first ever air fryer. St. James Parish Public School. Read all about it. And this wood too, eh? Isn't that something else? Looks like it's like they hand pieced it together, but again, out of all old wood, all old repurposed. Look at these cards everywhere. Yeah, look at that. Wow, with the legs on it too. Serious. Now I'm curious what they took down the stairs. It must have been really nice. See, like this is weird. Another box with insulation rolled up in it. I'm guessing maybe is this like a a squatter bed? Roll up some insulation, stuff like that. Nice and soft now. That's gonna be my best guess. <laughs> and since he was sleeping in here, he broke a little hole just so he could peek out. Look, <laughs> it's perfect. You can see my truck. <laughs> so he was definitely, uh, that was definitely for him to make sure nobody's there. Or maybe, hey, maybe he's here right now and he's seen my truck pull up. He's hiding somewhere. Because that hole, <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't expect to see my very own truck. I just expected to see the field or maybe the road or the driveway in because the way to get in is you almost got to drive like a good half a circle. So very, <laughs> very cool. I wasn't sure if that was an actual document or something, but no, it's just um, the inside of a frame when you buy a picture. That's where the drag marks came from. But another beautiful unit. Too bad this one is broken. Must have been closed and locked and they ripped it open. What's going on, girl? And so as we're putting two and two together, as we're walking through here, see these units? The, the copper sticking out of the ground? There must have been a really old, probably fancy heater unit there. You know the ones that stick off the wall about a foot? So that's gonna be what it was. They tore this big, giant, old school heater off, dragged it across the ground, <laughs> and maybe just threw it down the stairs. Maybe they weren't trying to save it. Maybe it was just the metal they wanted. So that's definitely what happened. Big giant heater came off of that wall, fell down the stairs. Well, didn't fall down, was thrown down. All right, so that's gonna be it for up here. And I guess, ooh, again, those shined up wood knobs. Those are amazing. These old school big locks, just unfortunately painted. All right, so I'm gonna take the few pictures up here 
I don't suggest you guys go into the basement without me, but if, you, if you're feeling safe as a group, go for it. But I'll be there in just a minute. So that was a very quick minute, but here I am. So let's make our way down. And again, as welcoming as the house feels, whenever you're going down into a basement, you still always like somebody upstairs to make sure that you're not getting locked in. Anything like that. Mothball y. Smells like mothballs. Look at that torture chair. All right, well, let's get a little bit closer. <laughs> so nice shelves. I almost thought those were little army people, but I was wrong. Very wrong. See, like this wire that they've got ran going from electrical box to electrical box isn't a very good thing. Sun and shade for pansies and different flowers. So I'm guessing that barn that's next door that we're gonna go check out, I'm guessing that it was a greenhouse and they were selling plants, looks like some vegetables, flowers. Very cool, look at the prices on those. So I want to see. Sometimes with the prices, you can you can get a bit of the age. That's very nice. Torture chair. Oh, the camel stove toaster. See? Oh, they're heating his butt with a camp toaster. Hello? Is there anybody in there? That's a cool little light thing you had going. So I definitely think maybe with some of the stuff that was going on in here, they were they were doing their uh, starting off their veggies and their flowers in the house, and then they bring them outside again. <laughs> These big old white spider cases. Look at them all. Tons. All right. I guess I'll take a couple pictures down here. Then I'll meet you outside and we'll tuck out from the rain and go and get into that barn. Let's make our way over to the barn. Then now after seeing those boards inside I'm thinking could have been like a little flower and vegetable nursery all right it's a fair bit of stuff mostly on this side so we'll go slow you can see my breath sorry about that some, some random stuff a pretty neat boat some farm equipment Man, look at the beautiful property. The view. All the way around. Now here, this is kind of interesting. Like a bunch of kids' toys. Some Monopoly money. These little porcelain, little water jugs. A little happy face guy. A leather couch. A bunch of candles. Big giant pink one. And three more there. The red one on the arm. 
random shoes. I wonder, I wonder if there was, I don't really see a point to be squatting in the barn when the house is right there. Maybe they just took some garbage out of the house and threw it out here. We got a Ben-Hur record. More plates. More plates and some tax papers. Yeah. That's heavy duty. That's all concrete. The handle's not gonna gonna work anymore. I don't think there's anything in there. Christmas stuff, of course. There's always Christmas things. A baseball bat. A couple bench seats from cars, vans. Well, no, that's a couch. Very cool. On this side, it's a bunch of wood, a bunch of hay, a bunch of tables for where they would have had all their plants and everything set up. Along these tables, for sure. And then you just water it and it just falls through. They got these big, beautiful open signs. They, that they got made but unfortunately they haven't been open for a while yeah no well, I'll take a peek there's too much information I can't show you guys oh, no just says real Christmas trees very cool So I like this little area so much that I came back for the outro. I'm not doing them at the same time. I did actually intro, walk around, now I'm doing the outro. I am doing the outro before we did the barn though, because it's wet out there. But I hope you guys enjoyed this spot, eh? Beautiful house, beautiful property. The whole wraparound deck that's got to be at least 80 feet worth of steps. Beautiful. I love stuff like that. I could have only imagined what this house looked like on a summer, sunny evening. Just beautiful. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like it, subscribe it, share it. Thank you for the comments, for the love, for the views, for all your support. Brandon Abandon, and I'll catch you in the new year. Ciao.